Okuja Tuablakwa there who has just finished his session at the sitting, of course, the committee that is investigating the catch for seed. Let's go over to the Flagstaff House now. President Akufuado is just about speaking. We understand, just so you know, that Martin Amidu, the former Attorney General, is there. What is up the President's sleeve? Let's hear him. President, Attorney General, Minister for Information, ladies and gentlemen of the media, let me welcome you warmly to the seat of the nation's presidency and begin by wishing you all a happy and productive new year. I've invited you here to announce to you, members of the media, and through you to the Ghanaian people, the discharge of one of the most important functions of my presidency. As you all re recollect, in recent times, the stench of corruption in public life was such that there was a general nationwide demand for the creation of additional focused instruments to fight the canker of corruption that was visibly gnawing at the heart of the Ghanaian state. The response of the new patriotic party so this demand was inter alia to pledge in his manifesto for the 2016 general elections the establishment of the Office of Special Prosecutor, an independent, non-partisan body with the relevant professional capability to lead the fight and hold public officials, past and present, accountable for their stewardship of public finances. The enactment of the Office of Special Prosecutor Act, Act 663, 2018, by an MPP-dominated parliament, is the first stage in the fulfillment of that pledge. Satisfied of the constitutionality and propriety of the legislation, I assented to it on the 2nd of January 2018. The Act, pursuant to Section 13.3, provides for the nomination by the Attorney General of a person fit for appointment by the President of the Republic, subject to approval by Parliament by an absolute majority of his members to perform the functions of the office. The Special Prosecutor once confirmed by Parliament, will carry an extraordinary responsibility, independently and impartially, to fight corruption. The special prosecutor, as the Act states in his preamble, and I quote, shall have full authority and control over the investigation, initiation, and conduct of proceedings of alleged or suspected corruption and corruption-related offenses involving public officers and politically exposed persons in the performance of their functions, as well as persons in the private sector involved in the commission of alleged or suspected corruption and corruption-related offenses." Unquote. The remit of the office, as you can see, is broad and challenging. The Attorney General is by letter dated Thursday, 11th January 2018, of today's date, addressed to me, exercised her power of nomination, and submitted to me for my acceptance the name of the proposed special prosecutor. I've accepted the Attorney General's nomination and will in turn submit for Parliament's approval when it reconvenes on the 23rd of January 2018 for its first meeting of this new year, the name of Martin Alemisi Burns Kaiser Amidu to be the first Special Prosecutor under the law. I have done so because I'm fully convinced Mr. Martin Amidou, a prominent legal personality who held the high office of Attorney General of the Republic, 
in the government of the late President Professor John Evans Atta Mills has the requisite integrity, competence, courage, and independence of character to discharge effectively the responsibilities of this new office. D, the Supreme Court itself has had cause to commend the nominee for his public spiritedness in the case of Amidu versus Attorney General, Waterville and Wyoming, when the court, per the respected judge, Doce JSC, had this to say about him, and I quote, the role of the plaintiff, Martin Alamisi Amidu, a distinguished former Attorney General of this country, needs to be highly commended, as was done in the lead judgment of the court. The plaintiff, in my opinion, must be highly commended for his vigilante role in protecting the wanton dissipation of the public purse." Unquote. The court also, in a related suit, had this to say about the nominee. Quote, the plaintiff, that is to say Mr. Amidu, is to be commended for his public spiritedness, which has fueled his meticulous and industrious presentation of this case, unquote. I can also personally vouch for his public spiritedness. We were on opposite sides in a series of landmark constitutional cases in the period of leading up to the years of the Fourth Republic, well known to students of constitutional law, which helped shape the evolution of the constitution of the Fourth Republic. As Deputy Attorney General as he then was, he conducted those cases with the fairness, which should be a cardinal feature of the conduct of any self-respecting lawyer. Mr. Amidu has indicated his willingness to accept the appointment. I thus have the honor to submit to Parliament, when it reconvenes, the name of Martin Alemisi Burns Kaiser Amidu for its approval for appointment as special prosecutor. It is my hope and expectation that the praiseworthy speed and dispatch with which Parliament acted for ministerial appointment last year will characterize its handling of this in nomination to enable Mr. Amidu, as soon as possible, enter into office to begin the important work that awaits him. I congratulate him on his deserved nomination and wish him Godspeed in the valiant efforts he will undoubtedly be making to enhance the quality of governance of our country. The Ghanaian people will be the ultimate beneficiaries of that. Thank you and may God bless us all in our homeland Ghana. Great and strong.